These aren't normal oats. They're mega oats. Hey, it's Brian Lake back with another review you can use. Today we have a brand new product and a brand new company. Uh, we got this at Sam's recently. And uh, it's Oat Mega, and I think Oat Mega, manufactured by Oat Mega. That's the name of the brand, and that's uh, what's on here. And so we have a variety pack of two flavors of protein powders, uh, protein bars, <laughs> sorry, um, non-GMO, five grams of, uh, of sugar uh, in each, seven grams of fiber, uh, 14 grams of protein, although I'm not 100% sure what the protein source is, if it's all whey. Okay, our grass-fed whey comes from Happy New Zealand grass-fed cows. Uh, which I think um, some of the other stuff, what's interesting is we did a protein powder before that uh, had New Zealand, yeah, that was New Zealand um, sourced protein, uh, whey protein, grass fed, but it was made in the States. And this looks like it's the same thing. It's made Austin, Texas is, the, is where they're located. Uh, it's not, I don't think it's the same as the other brand, and, uh, but it's interesting that they're using New Zealand. I wonder why, if there's a bit, you know, they're not. No steroids and stuff like that. Um, so anyway, it uh, also has 250 milligrams of DHA and EPA omega-3s. So we're getting some good omega-3 source right there. And um, you know the sugar to protein ratio is not bad. It's about 3 to 1. It's 5 grams of sugar to 14 grams of protein. So or 3 to 1, almost 3 to 1. Which isn't bad. I'd like to see it a little higher, but you know, that's not bad at all. Four to one is, is really good, that range where you really want it, but three is close enough. When it's the other way around and it's five grams of protein and 30 grams of sugar, you don't really want it. So let's do a live taste test of both flavors. So the two flavors we have today are chocolate peanut and chocolate brownie. All right, so let's see what we've got. So this is the chocolate peanut uh, flavor. Bar about standard size, I guess you could say. Some of them are real big. Metrex has got some big ones, but those have got a lot of sugar in them. I've, you know, I've had to stop eating them. Some of those are 30 grams of sugar. Apparently, I can't open anything. Um, they have an interesting look. Smells like chocolate and peanuts. We got chunks of peanuts in here. Very nice. You know, that is very good for something that's gluten free. Um, it's not bad at all. It has good flavor, good texture, got a nice crunch to it. It's not overly dry. And it is quite dense. It is well packed in there. So, but overall, very good. I would, I would definitely give this a recommend. Let's see the, um, let's do like we like. Comes to the palate a bit, if it, as it were. It's not an overwhelming flavor. It's just a little bit of chocolate, a little bit of peanut. Um, but again, it's not a candy bar. So if you're used to really sweet and overpowering flavors, th this is not going to be, you know, you might say, oh, it didn't taste very good. But it's also a lot healthier for you. So this is the chocolate brownie, I believe. That's a bit chocolatier. And it's a chocolate without the sugar. It's kind of like a cocoa. It's not really milky either. Not really sweet, not really milky. It's kind of chocolate flavor. Um, Calling it a brownie might be a bit of a stretch. It doesn't have that moistness you'd associate with a brownie. It's about the same as the other one. I mean, it looks very, very similar. I mean, it's, um, I don't know how well you can see it on camera, but you got definitely have chunks of stuff in it. Um, and that might be the where the whey protein. I'm not sure if, they, if they've mixed the whey protein with the chocolate or if they've kind of had it, you know, like a protein ball, you know, almost like it's powder, but they put enough of something to like little beads which is kind of what this looks like. It has that texture. Obviously this doesn't have peanuts in it. This one does. It has those same things and then there's kind of some kind of you know chunks of small, I mean very small chunks of peanut. But um, overall very good. Um, my only detraction is I'd like to see the protein up a little bit more but other than that um, each bar is um, 200 calories. They are 50 grams. So calories aren't bad for anyone who's calorie conscious. Um, 
120 milligrams of sodium, so not very much at all, 5% of your daily allowance. Uh, that's it from the government, 8% of your cholesterol. Uh, so maybe the cholesterol source could be up a little bit more. And uh, the protein, I mean, that's it. my only negative is, is that. I mean, for something that's non-GMO, certified gluten-free, and a lot of these, I mean, I've had a lot of bars, some of my favorite brands, they went all in gluten-free, and some of them are good, and some of them I've had to stop getting because they're just not that great anymore. And then some of them I stopped getting because they're just loaded with sugar now. But all in all, Oat Mega, uh, oh, yeah, Oat Mega, very good. This is definitely a recommend for those who need a little bit of protein on the go. Um, maybe a snack between meals or something. Maybe uh, hiking or whatever. Uh, obviously, you don't want to get it warm. It will melt, uh, I imagine. But it's uh, not bad at all, uh, considering the sources and the low sugar. You know, only 5 grams of sugar, that's very good. All right, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for clicking like. Thanks for sharing all these videos. We, and we will see you next time. Bye. Uh, of course, <clears throat> get a plane flying overhead. Oh, mega. 14 grams of protein and omega-3. Hmm. I didn't think this part through because now i got to chew on camera, but I can always edit. Hmm. Uh, 7 grams of fiber, only 5 grams of sugar. Excellent. Alright, let's go.